I was in filling up my water at this gas station and Semran, the guy working here, he gave me a hat. It's Canada, baby. We started really early today and uh, now the time is almost 11 o'clock and we have 20 kilometers to go. Uh, let's enjoy life, baby. We start the week off in Vernon and we'll make our way along Highway 97 to Kamloops. From there, we go back to the Trans-Canada Highway and then on to 99. When I cycle, I either listen to music or I listen to Tim Ferriss. For those who do know who Tim Ferriss is, nice. For those who don't, check it out. Tim Ferriss is awesome. We're in Lumbee, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, that's where we are. I need to say that. Okay, shout out to the guy who gave me the cap. This is so strange. I've seen this a couple of times, but it's a mushroom that pushes through the asphalt. And there's a, there's a mushroom there. It's crazy. I was just cycling here by the highway and uh, right down there is a bear. There is a campsite up here and I don't know, it's probably 20 bucks or whatever, something ridiculous. And I was like, maybe I can just camp here. And I looked down and there was a bear right there where I looked. I was like, what the hell? I'm losing weight and I'm hungry and I need to eat a lot more food because my arms are fading away. So far, I've probably lost about nine, 10 kilos in six and a half months. It's, it's ridiculous. I eat 4,000 calories every day and I still lose weight. It's like I have a worm in my body that eats all the calories. Yesterday, I decided to take this place. It was right here, $20, expensive. Nobody else here. Nice little campsite though. We're heading towards Kamloops, which is right here. We are right here. And in Kamloops, we're staying with Daniel and Sarah, two friends of Orvar, who I met yesterday. To go there, we need a lot of calories. It's 100 kilometers. So we're warming up with this stuff. Real food, real adventure. A good to go Thai style curry as breakfast. Pretty luxury. She's beautiful, ain't she? My little lassie. On this highway for 100 kilometers. Yesterday I got stopped by a guy on a motorcycle. It was the first time that has happened ever. A motorcyclist stopping me. You have been drinking. Uh, yeah. Hey, drinker. Yeah, you're drunk. Uh. But this one was very special. Here you see Orvar. Orvar is from Trollhättan in Sweden, just about an hour north from where I'm born or where I live. His friends, Daniel and Sarah, Canadian, they came right after him and they're living in Kamloops where we're going today and they invited me to stay with them. Ah, it's super nice, super, super, super nice. What are you doing? Hello! Why do you stand like that? <laughs> Westworld General Store and Cafe. We're going with the big break. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. Mm, good potatoes. Okay, sausage. Mm -hmm. At the roadside cafe, some motorcyclists gave me the tip to go on a quiet mountain road to Kamloops instead of the highway. They just redid the road and it was a perfect way to end off a long ride. Neat! This woman over there at that crossing, she stopped the entire traffic while I was checking my GPS. And all of a sudden I hear, why don't you go? And I'm like, well, I don't know where I'm going. She's like, just go. And I'm like, okay. Beautiful. You are my friends and you're with me while I'm cycling on a pathway where I'm not supposed to go, which ends here. Okay, it's a roundabout. Now I see it. Obviously, it's a roundabout. Welcome to Kamloops. Here you get to see everything. Hi. Nope. <laughs> I played Tony Hawk, but I'm not that skilled. Bar spins. I'm not going to do that. Yay. I'm like the kids, you. <laughs> oh. Okay, enough playing. Let's go.
Hey! Hey! <laughs> I made hey. it! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Daniel and Sarah, who host Odvar of Sweden, take me in for a couple of days and their adventure motorcycles are just incredible, as well as the food I get to enjoy while there. The next day they take me for a hike, looking over Kamloops Lake. I'm gonna put a rock onto yeah, this. Should. Should. <laughs> I don't wanna destroy this stuff. Oh, come on. Yay! Nice. This is probably somebody's ashes. That's okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm sorry I touched it. It looked like a bag of cocoa. It could be, but we don't. We won't no, it, it, it's it's, it's for sure it. somebody's ashes. Yes. It, when you when you said it, I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Before they send me off, I get an early birthday celebration, which I never could have expected. Yay! They've been so nice to me. I've met friends for life. How nice they've been to me. They took me in from the road and they celebrated my birthday, and it's just. Oh, wonderful people! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people! It's incredible, the, the people you meet on the road, this is why I do this stuff. It's, it's insane! It's so nice! It's incredible! Oh, there are no words to describe these people, wow! Uh, when I met these guys, they told me that it's gonna be very difficult for me to enter the United States again because of my visa and they know three people, Orvar is one of them, that have had trouble or been rejected by the border uh, not being let in. So, so Orvar did not actually get in when he had this kind of trouble on a tourist visa. And there's nowhere on the internet where you can read about this stuff. There's nowhere on the internet. I asked on Reddit and two border patrol officers wrote me that basically if you have a tourist visa, 10 year multiple entry, which I have, it's going to be raising a red flag whenever somebody is spending more time within the United States than outside of the United States on the visa. Because it's a tourist visa, it's meant for traveling and not for spending all your time. Hey, hey. nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, it's so cool. Coolest guy in the world, retired and driving his motorcycle since basically 2011 around the world. Crazy guy, Arbor of Sweden. So, I talked to these two border patrol officers on Reddit and they both said that it's gonna rise a red flag and it's a very, very high risk that you'll be denied entry. Yeah, that basically means that if I would be denied entry, well, I'm gonna have a trouble because it's gonna say in my record for the entire rest of my life that I've been denied entry to the United States. And I cannot risk that. It's, it's impossible because I'm gonna spend a lot of time back and forth through the United States meeting people in the future. I don't know, maybe setting up businesses in the future that are gonna export to the United States. You, you never know what you wanna do. And it's, a, it's, it's not doable, I can't risk that. I'm gonna fly back home to Sweden instead. So I'm leaving Vancouver Island for Vancouver Airport on the 6th of August and flying home. It means that my entire trip so, on the positive side though, very positive, is that I want to cycle Alaska and Mexico. So I decided that a future trip will be from northern tip of Alaska down to the southern tip of Mexico. The initial trip for the United States was to see if it was possible to cycle the world and edit movies while on the go. It's also that I want to release the Cycling for Children, which I'll tell you more about when I get to Vancouver Island. In the United States, it's very difficult to interview children. You gotta sign waivers, you gotta talk to lawyers, all this because they can sue you and the content gets removed. That's why I chose the United States from the beginning, because it has wonderful, a little bit crazy people, very nice nature, good infrastructure when it comes to the internet, and it's not possible to interview children. It is, but it's difficult. So I chose it to be my first trip to test everything out, and now it gets real. And it's happened much sooner than I first anticipated, so in that sense it's really good. So it's gonna be awesome in the future. It's gonna be so interesting, the stuff that will happen. And I'm very, very thankful for you to watch all my stuff. I'm extremely thankful. Without you guys, 
I would have first off felt extremely lonely while doing all this stuff that I'm doing. Secondly, I love what I'm doing. I really love it. And it's just, it's wonderful to be able to meet all these people and to share it with you. It's really cool. It's really, really cool because I want to show you that the world is not a horrible, dangerous place. It's an awesome and learning opportunity of knowledge and just fun and love. So keep tuned. Let's go to Vancouver. Today we're buying some nice fresh food, some cheese and sausages because it's my birthday today, yoo yay! Chocolate therapy. Hungarian salami and just chew that Wait, <laughs> Yeah, this is my birthday present to myself. Gypsy salami, what's that? Yeah. Let's try the gypsy stuff. This is where we're staying. Are you awesome? You say, eh. I made it into the hotel room. Oh, I had a really nice birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the cheese and the uh, sausage. I'm gonna enjoy the ice cream and laying in this bed. Yeah. And I'm gonna edit movies. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit down now and I'm gonna edit for like six hours and then I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We are in for an interesting ride in the future, you and I. I'll tell you more when I get to Vancouver Island. Until then, 